past the winning post on two occasions. Gates are back and they're racing. Salvatore Mundi towards the back end of the field early on and Blackthorn also taking a sit in. Monashard is along the inside but look right there goes Imperial Ruby. Rex Union on a double hold in second. On the inside Monashard then comes Mystery Boy in fourth as they go around the turn. Smoking Hot is next best. Five six lengths off the leaders. Pay back the money further back in the running, then comes Electric Surge. Black Thorn amongst the back rank as they go out of view. Racing 10, 11 lengths off the leaders. Salvatore Mundi has dropped anchor and just estimating 12 lengths top to tail. Imperial Ruby painting the picture in front by a length and a half. Rex Union hard against the bitten second Monashada. Mystery Boy is on the outside followed through by Pay Back the Money. Smoking Hot is mid division. Now Blackthorn gets a half a length closer. Electric surge, white sleeves and cap towards the inside. Your trailer is number four, Salvatore Mundi, racing nine to ten lengths off the pace. They're moving down to the 1800 zone. Imperial Ruby just cantering along by a length and a half. Rex Union hot against the bit in second at the rail. Just passed by Mystery Boy escorting this one around the turn. Pay back the money's in fourth Monashada. Black Thorn, five lengths to make up, then comes Smoking Heart. Salvatore Mundi's around them, Electric Surge, she's lost. Imperial Ruby with the front running tactics by three parts. Mystery Boys right there, second. Rex Union at the inside, races away in third. Pay back the money on the outside of Monashada. The favorite, Black Thorn, on the hunt and prowl, gets a length closer. Further back is Smoking Hot, then comes Salvatore Mundi. Electric Surge at the back of the field, eight lengths off them. 1,000 meters left to go, Imperial Ruby, trying to go from pillar to post by three parts. Mystery Boy is right there in second. Rex Union's racing away in third in the Blue Sulks. Pay back the money the outside, then Monashada. Black Thorn has the shadow roll, Black Cap, four and a half to make up. Smoking Hot next, best, followed by Salvatore Mundi and Electric Surge. Homeward bound, 500 meters to go. Imperial Ruby's been there throughout. Mystery Boy now asks questions in second. Look right, Blackthorn now starts to come forward. Salvatore Mundi, Rex Union on the inside. 300 meters to go, Imperial Ruby. Black Thorn, Keegan DeMello now says, let's go. Imperial Ruby by three parts, Rex Union. Black Thorn is warming up on the outside. And yes, Black Thorn now coming home stoutly. Black Thorn with a captivating performance. High octane. Rex Union, Imperial Ruby. Then it's photos, smoking hot involved with an electric surge. But Black Thorn. Thorn comes through with flying colours. Well done to all concerned, the Hollywood Syndicate on their big race day. Anthony Del Pesh, Owen Heffer, Devon and the entire team. The Pomodoro, Blackthorn, Keegan DeMello. He made his winning move. Rex Union, Imperial Ruby, Smoking Hot and Electric Surge. Hollywood Bets, Durban July race day, and number eight, Black Thorn, yellow, purple stars, Black Cap comes alive on the grandstand side. Keegan DeMello looks across to see if there's any dangers the last hundred. He gives them the full go ahead, ends up one Rand 60, and that's it, Black Thorn striking Golger. Let's go back to the studio. That's the opening leg of the pick six where the favorite comes bolting in to win by a length and a tail. Rex Union Imperial Ruby and smoking hot back to the studio.
Right, welcome back to the winner's enclosure. That's what it's all about. Hollywood Bets on their own race day have won the DSTV Gold Vase. And uh, also a very special warm welcome to the CEO of Multi-Choice South Africa, Nyuko Shaburi, who is here. Wonderful to have DSTV's patronage on this great race day. And uh, he will present the floating trophy and the mementos. And he'll be assisted by director of Gold Circle, Christine Mudley. Let's just start off with the winning groom. He's got to go to the back with Black Thorn. Let's get Bonla into uh, the picture. Bonla responsible for Blackthorn and we saw him in the back he looked absolutely magnificent Bonla well done hello thanks but I'm not talking too much I'm just saying congratulations with my team congratulations with the trainer congratulations with the owners well done Bonla you got your prize from uh, Gold Circle and from Hollywood Bets well done to Bonla his horse looked absolutely magnificent Sean Terry's requested that uh, he goes first. He's got three runners in the uh, next race to saddle. So uh, we'll get Sean into the picture. The winning trainer of the Gold Vase. Sean, it's easy for us pundits to, to sit on all the panels and say, all right, Blackthorn's a banker, move on. But for you, it must have been a bit of pressure. Hollywood bets Durban Jalar, Hollywood bets horse. They crave a winner, whether it, anywhere in the country. But on this day, on, a, on an odds-on favorite, you must have felt that. Well, Alistair, 100%, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, Hollywood Day, what a beautiful function, what a beautiful day. You feel the vibe when you arrived at the airport, and uh, obviously, their horse, it's all part of the plan um, to try and get it to win on the day, and fortunately, it's all fallen into place. Well done to the team at Hollywood. I mean, this is absolutely unbelievable, and obviously to my team as well. Um, pressure, we've had this pressure a few times with a bank on July day, and we brought it home many times. So I'm pleased to have done it today. Sean, very well done. I know we pressed for time. You've got three runners on the next. Your boys following your footsteps, well done. Thank you very much. Well done to Sean Terry. He, of course, can stay for the uh, winning photos, the mementos all coming the way. Uh, well done to Terry Jr. and Terry Jr. Um, we've got uh, Matthew and Jason here. So well done to the boys. A lot of people are happy with you, Keegan. Coming that wide around the turn was, uh, I guess it's never the intention at Hollywood Bets Gravel to come that wide, but what, did the pace just dictate that that was what you had to do? I just thought I was following the wrong horse in the race, you know, and uh, I decided to just get him um, building early, and I always knew I was sitting on best horse in the race, and uh, he had a good turn of foot to hit the line running, so all systems go for the Gold Cup. Absolutely right, and uh, just in terms of being in front of this crowd, hearing them all again. It's the day that you wait for, isn't it? Yeah, it's superb um, to see so many people again. It's amazing. I've got my wife here who's supporting me as well. I think we've missed it the last two years. So, um, just Is that really, her? That's her, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so just really grateful to, to be a part of, um, obviously, the, the whole day. And um, just thank you very much to the Hollywood Syndicate, to Mr. Terry and um, his team. Well done. And to my sponsors winning form, well done. Brought one home for Hollywood. Keegan, very well done. Collect your prize here from Aniko and from Christine. Hollywood Bets Syndicate on Hollywood Bets Durban July Day. You couldn't script it. It'd be hard, even whoever wins the Hollywood Bets Durban July, be hard pressed to script that. Anthony Delpesh. Let's get Devon in here as well. Like I said to Sean, it's easy for us to sit and talk about bankers on the card. But like I said to Sean, you must have felt that pressure. Nothing's a racing certainty. The job's done. It was much easier when I was riding. <laughs> I knew I was in control. Yeah, I wasn't in control, but obviously Keegan knows him very well. He was definitely the best horse in the race, and he had a smooth passage, and yes, he won a fantastic race. And it was so important, as this is our day, and to bring the first leg of the pick six to the crowd. And the importance of the Hollywood Syndicate, it's 320-odd winners. You've been at the helm now for a while. This is the piece de resistance, isn't it? Well, we, we're getting there. It's, it's going to take a while. As you know, in racing, it takes a while. But we, we're quickly growing. And uh, yeah, this is our first group two. And, uh, good day to have it. Very good day to have it. And we're hoping uh, not too far to come. We're, the group one will come. Devin, let's just get you into the picture. What does that mean to Owen Heffer? No, that is it's, it's something dreams are made of, Ali. I mean, I was just telling John Costa well done, John and the Club of Fate team on, on breeding Blackthorn. But, I mean, Owen Heffer made, started selling race cards outside Hollywood Bet Scrabble here, and it's just a really an emotional time. And, uh, but to have a winner on July Day is something dreams are made of and something you can't script. It's just the Hollywood luck. Devin, well done. Anthony, well done. You can collect your prize, your mementos. That will look great at head office and I'm Schlanger. And uh, we also got a winning breeders 
crown, typical on a big day when it comes to the big farms. You know that they'll be involved, but this obviously revolves around Blackthorn and the Hollywood Syndicate. Well done to Keegan DeMello and Sean Terry. Winning breeders, Clava Flaystad, multiple champion breeders of South Africa, son of Pomodoro, who of course won on this great day a decade ago. Unbelievable. Well done to uh, all concerned. Gina, good to see you. Thanks very much to uh, all the uh, dignitaries. Thanks so much to Aniko and to Christine for helping out with the presentation of race number four, the first leg of the pick six. The hottie is home.